If you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. Polio is one very important viral disease and in this part we will be discussing about this disease that is polio. It is also technically known as poliomyelitis. Normally it affects younger children, affects younger children normally and that is why the immunization program I'm sure you've heard of pulse polio program that is uh, to give the polio vaccine to children under five so this is the purpose because the infection is predominantly seen in younger age and because of this polio is also known as as it affects polio is also called infantile paralysis. Now this uh, polio or poliomyelitis, it is a neurotrophic disease. Neurotrophic disease is the term given when the disease results in damage to motor neurons. So, because it is damaging or damages motor neurons, especially of the spinal cord. So, we will talk about this in a minute. Now, the spread of this disease is direct and oral. Now, polio, we all know it affects normally the limbs, but it can affect any part. Uh, where the stimulus or the message is going to go from the spinal cord but normally it affects the limbs. So when a muscle is getting affected, a limb is getting affected, how can that disease spread through oral? That means through droplet infection. The reason is that this virus, okay, it is, let us write down the causative agent. It is simply known as poliovirus. And this polio virus is also RNA virus. RNA is the genetic material. So this polio virus, polio virus, it lives in the throat and intestine of the infected person. Lives in throat and intestine of infected person. So if a person has this disease, the virus is in the throat and intestine. So when through mouth, uh, there are some droplets which are released while sneezing or coughing, that time the virus can enter into somebody else's body. And that is why we say that it spreads through direct or oral uh, means. And the reason is this, that the virus is found in the throat and intestine. Now, let us come to this uh, damage part. We know that in spinal cord, whenever we draw the section of spinal cord, the inner is gray matter and outer is white matter. And the gray matter is in the form of this H shape or butterfly shape. This is called the dorsal horn. And this arm is called the ventral horn. Now, spinal cord is responsible for reflex action. So, a nerve fiber is going to bring the message here. This is going to be the sensory nerve. And a nerve is going to take the message away from the spinal cord. This nerve is going to be the motor nerve. This virus, poliovirus, it damages the motor neurons, especially of 
dorsal horn so the massage reaching up to the spinal cord there is no problem but the damage is in this part the dorsal horn part so if the neurons are damaged in the dorsal horn there will be no massage generated because motor nerve is going to take the massage from the spinal cord to the muscle and as muscles do not receive any kind of massage or stimulus from cns or from spinal cord they do not work and when the muscle doesn't work it is like paralysis and that is why it is called infant uh, infantile paralysis and if a muscle is not working for a very long period of time it shows atrophy or it shrinks and that is why the limb which is affected is thinner as compared to the normal limb sometimes both the limbs get affected sometimes only one limb gets affected it totally depends on where exactly the damage is so sensory nerve is working properly but the motor nerve is not bringing any message to the muscle and that is why the muscle is not working and we know whenever the muscle doesn't work we call it paralysis so this is how the damage is caused a pulse polio program we were just talking about that it was a national immunization program which was launched in december 1995 and the program was to provide the polio vaccine to every child who is below the age of 5 provide vaccine to all children below 5 years of age now if we are talking about the vaccine we need to know which vaccine are we talking about so there are two vaccines which are available one is called sark this uh, is made up of killed virus it has killed virus and the other one is called seben vaccine and seben vaccine is the one which is given as oral polio drops and that is that is also known as opv that is oral polio vaccine so whenever we talk about uh, those two drops of polio uh, vaccines which are to be given this is seben vaccine which is uh, what we are talking about both are named after the scientists and seben vaccine is made up of weakened live pathogens which are also called attenuated uh, vaccine weak live virus or we can also call it attenuated vaccine where the virus is not completely destroyed it is weakened and that vaccine is given in the form of oral polio drops so oral polio vaccine is seven and the one which contains the killed virus that is sark so these two vaccines are available and they are very very effective now because of this national uh, immunization program this program was called pulse polio program so this pulse polio program was uh, conducted all over the country at a uh, very nice manner at war footing we can say and because of this in 2014 on 27th of march india was declared polio free india was by who 
So WHO waits for a couple of years before the last case is reported. So in 2014, India was declared polio free. That means after 2012, there was no case reported, but WHO waits for a couple of years to uh, make sure that this disease is not there and there are no new cases which are being reported. And after two years, then WHO declares any country free of a particular disease. So these dates are very important. December 1995, that is launch of Pulse Polio program and 27th of March, this is very important. 2014, the date and the year when India was declared polio free. So now we know what kind of a virus it is, what is the damage that uh, is caused by it and there are very effective vaccines which are available, very effi efficient vaccines and the national uh, immunization program was successful to the level that we have been successful in eradicating that disease from our country. So this is polio. In the next part, we will talk about another disease.